that we've talked about lying, we've talked about gossip. Today, we're going to talk about nomophobia. James, do you have nomophobia? No idea what that is. Nomophobia comes from no cell phone. That when you are disconnected from your cell phone, you get anxiety, trembling, perspiration, agitation, disoriented. I don't know if I'm quite that bad. Tachycardia, <laughs> elbow pain. Those, that's from nomophobia. Nomophobia is actually an issue. People get very agitated when they lose their cell phone, when they misplace their cell phone, when they're in a situation like a classroom, an airport, a doctor's office, hospital, where people say, put away that cell phone, and all of a sudden they get anxiety and trembling and perspiration and agitation. They're disoriented. All of those symptoms are nomophobia. Some of you have more than one cell phone, and then you're like, I don't have enough money to get the out-of-pocket second opinion, but you have two cell phones. Some of you have a bigger addiction to your cell phone, and you know what they're saying now? They're, they're categorizing the cell phone addiction to being as big an addiction as any drug addiction. I believe it. That this is really a mental health issue. And that college students, me excluded, but maybe I'm included, I don't know, spend <laughs> more you just spun that right in than there. nine hours a day on a cell phone. And then when they don't have that cell phone, all of these issues of mental health and anxiety start trickling in. Some of you have to check yourself. The cell phone, do you remember the day? Here's another thing. Do you remember the day when the wall phone would ring and oh. we would get up? Right? And run to it. To run. See who could be. We, I even got it. A, we even had a little run happen, yep, right? Yep. It would ring and we would run. We would get it. And then what? We would stand yep. and talk to the person because. And after 30 minutes, you'd lay on the floor. The cord or wasn't long the enough. Cord, or you'd stretch yeah, you the cord stretch to your the bedroom cord. and close the door. Yep. Yep. It wasn't long enough. And then they had gotten the longer co cords. And then they. Did you just date us? No, no. I, think I think I read that in a book. <laughs> <laughs> I think somewhere, yeah, there was a story. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like I went through it, but... When we would do the little, put your finger in the hole and run yeah. it all the way around and let it go. Remember when you called the operator? Yeah. Yeah, you could call the operator and be like, hey, what's James' phone number? And she'd be like, oh, yeah, I have it here, 315 1410. 10. Yeah. 352-315-1410. And you didn't need an area code back then because if you were in the area, it was all That's right. If you were in the area, area you didn't need it. You, you just, just needed the seven digits. Right. Not anymore. We've created this extra bit of stress in our life because we're addicted and attached. People are addicted and attached to the cell phone. And they've analyzed this. There was a meta -anal analysis done, which it cell phone and grouped it together to find out these commonalities and they found that um, something else about our cell phone that 68 percent of our cell phones are covered in microorganisms and not good microorganisms these are microorganisms that most of them are antibiotic resistant so not only are we addicted to our cell phones but our cell phones are just chock full of germs. And researchers have been studying this since 2006. And there was a Time Magazine article that spoke about that your cell phone is considered, listen to this Q family that I love, 10 times dirtier than your toilet seat. Alrighty then. Yes. The cell phone is 10 times dirtier than your toilet seat. You have to watch. I mean, these are things that look we are looking at ways to stay well that we have created on ourselves we want to know why we're always getting people are always getting germs some people are always getting cold some people are always getting certain things well it could be the toxic cell phone that is full of bacteria from whatever their hands and and stuff and then they put it to their face and breathe all that in i'm not sure how the whole contamination works but then we take the cell phone, right, and we bring it to a restaurant or we put it down on the sink in the bathroom. Like, 
there are a lot of places that cell phone has gone that travels. If, if the cell phone could tell stories, it would it would jump up and go stop already. Sharing is caring. Right. I don't want to be on the table in the restaurant. Do not put me cell phone on the seat of an empty chair in a restaurant. But don't put it in your back pocket, you please. Put it in your purse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just lay it around. How many times do you see the cell phone on the conveyor belt at Publix? The cell phone is, you know, all over the place. I mean, I don't know. The cell phone could speak. I would love to write that book if the cell phone could speak. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Those things are things we need to think about. And let's face it, some of you with your cell phones have just annoyed the rest of us. Like when they ring in a restaurant and we're trying to have a nice or meal. Or in church on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Or, or Wednesday. Or in church on Sunday or in Bible study. In places where you're supposed to be praising and worshiping the Lord and you are idling your cell phone. And you know what God says about idols? Read your Bible, people. Cell phone has become your idol. Some of you need to take it, turn it off right now, and put it in the drawer and take it out once a day. Check it once a day. Nothing is happening. People are, you know, for me, it's no big deal because nobody texts me, nobody calls me except for the spam people. Some people jump at the spam caller and, and, oh, oh, I gotta get this. What do you have to get? Why do we need to walk around Publix talking to people? I don't need to hear that conversation. I have heard some nasty conversations with people in public places. I don't really need to need that. You know why? Because you know what that does to me? That agitates me. And now my health is affected because you don't know what to do with your cell phone. Many of you are teaching this bad habit to your grandchildren. You're teaching your grandchildren that that cell phone and whoever's on that cell phone is more important than you are. I remember when caller ID, um, uh, call waiting, that's what it was, call waiting came out. And the person would be on the phone and then they'd get beep beep and they would know another call came through. And that would infuriate me because... Gotta go. I gotta go. Got another call. Well, what about me? I thought I was the one you were talking to. Many of you are doing this to yourselves. You're doing it to your grandchildren. You're doing it to your daughters and sons. It's not right. Get away from this idol. God is very specific in the Bible about idols. And Q family, I love you. I I didn't talk about one thing in my notes. So next week, we're going to talk about trembling. I love you. See you next week. Bye-bye. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.